Welcome to another special episode of Babington Unlimited. Coming up on the show, we spend the day with one of Denmark's greatest women's doubles pairs, Christina Pedersen and Camilla Ritter Yule. The couple, now living in Aalborg, give us a glimpse of their life post retirement. And the city is just, um, for us, a perfect size. We, we don't feel that it's, it's too small or too big. We, yeah. Yeah, we, can, we can just feel that uh, it's like being home. And with just three months left to qualify for the 2020 Olympic Games, we look at who's positioned where in the race to Tokyo standings. An Olympic silver medal, the All England title, four European crowns, Few can rival Camilla Rutayul and Christina Pedersen's accomplishments in women's doubles. Since bidding goodbye to international badminton in 2018, the Danes have grown into a family of three, and they're enjoying their time together in the comforts of their hometown. Badminton Unlimited visited the happy couple in Oldborg to find out how it's all been going since retirement. Hi, I'm Christina. I'm Camilla. Welcome to our new home city. We are now in Aalborg. Uh, it's the fourth biggest town in Denmark. Yeah, a lot of people live here. But first, what we need? We always need a good coffee. Come follow us. I feel that we, we as a family now have settled down uh, and started our, our new chapter uh, in our life uh, with little Molly. Molly. So um, I just feel, feel really good, uh, feel really good together with Camilla all the time and we're having, uh, we're having fun every day, we are smiling and even though we're not traveling around the world, we, we still love our life, uh, love every day, early mornings. Um, but uh, yeah, that's a, that's a good new life. Um, I enjoying every time. It's, I think it's almost every day when we go to bed, we say to each other, "Oh, it has been a great day today." And it's even though that Molly maybe don't want to eat the the food we made for her, or we woke up very early and we didn't sleep enough and, and all that kind of things. We, we look at each other every night and say, oh, it's been a great day. My favorite coffee is a flat white. What's yours, Kristen? Uh, it's a strong flat white uh, or cotaro. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> What we like uh, of living here in Olva is, uh, even though it's not not as big as Copenhagen, not even close to, it, but but there is still some some quite good coffee shops. There is uh, a lot of other st shops. There is good restaurants, and and the city is just um, for us a perfect size. We we don't feel that it's it's too small or too big. We yeah, yeah we can we can just feel that uh, it's like being home. We also like the fact that. We often meet people that we know on the streets, uh, so it's also local. And I, I like the feeling that uh, uh, we can say hi to our neighbors and meet them in the town or friends and family just uh, stop by because uh, we are nearby uh, all our friends and family. It's, and it's really nice. And one thing we're also really enjoying is to be close to our families, just as I said before. Mm. Uh, when we lived in Copenhagen, we could not go there for, for dinner or Wednesday during the week because we have practice uh, the next morning. So, yeah. so now it's easier just to, to visit them whenever we want to, uh, whenever they want to visit us. So, um. But actually, I think they also liked it even more because of Molly. You now, think so? When, when we come to our parents now, they say, oh, hi Molly, hi Molly. And, and then hi Christina an and hour Camilla. after, oh, hi Christina and hi Camilla, you are here <laughs> as well. <laughs> so I think our families really enjoy coming, uh, having us closer. So now we're here at one of our favorites, but in Olbo we like to be here by the waterfront. It's a very nice place to take a walk, especially in the summertime, many people are walking around here. We also like to take Molly for a walk. Um, 
the view is great. Yeah. We live nearby. Nearby, yeah. Five minutes walk from here. Yeah, so we just love to come here and enjoy the view. It was really important for us uh, to tell about our relationship uh, to the world because it's um, it's important that you can be yourself uh, even though you are in a same-sex relationship or whatever you do. After the Olympics, when uh, we were settled down, we have made the results we wanted. Uh, we were known as the good badminton players. It was okay for us also to tell about our relationships. We didn't want to be known as the couple all the time. Uh, oh, now it's the same-sex couple on court. Uh, we we got recognized for for our results instead of uh, our relationship. So, and that was important for us. We got a lot of positive messages uh, after the release of our book, uh, where we told about our relationship off court as well uh, as on court. Uh, so, it was great to to have all the messages and. Uh, positive energy uh, we could feel love from all around the world uh, so so that's that's really nice and it's not like we are thinking about what country are we going to visit next or do we have to be careful uh, in some countries uh, of course we also respect if if there is some uh, religion that don't uh, recognize uh, the same-sex relationships. We don't want to kiss on the street if it's not um, okay in the country. We just want to uh, to behave yeah. <laughs> uh, and adapt to the country we are in. In the book, we're, we're telling about uh, our career on court, off court. Uh, we're telling about uh, our triumph, uh, good results, Bad results. There's yeah. been some. We're telling about how it is to 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 work together, to to be together, 24/24/7. Um, we we love our life, uh, and I'm sure everybody who who who's reading our book can can feel that uh, we we are having a good time together. Um, and now now Molly is here, so um, it's not in the book, uh, but um, yeah, that's uh, that's uh, what the book is about. Sometimes we, we called our, our small family the, the Molly team <laughs> instead of the, the perfect partnership where, where we played badminton together because now uh, it's all about Molly in, in a good way. We, we try to, yeah, to help her, to, um, now, now she, she wants to walk, uh, so we try to, to help her, we try to, to make her the right food. Uh, sometimes it's, it's a success, sometimes <laughs> <Yeah>. it's not. <laughs> Sometimes she, she wake up six times a night uh, and then we, we, we help each other because it can be difficult to, yeah, not to, to get your sleep. Every parent will, will for sure uh, stay, uh, stand like this. Uh, so um, yeah, we, um, we call sometimes uh, that we, we are having the, the Molly team and, and helping each other in the best way we can. We're here at the Gihus in Norkraft. This is where we train almost every day. Uh, it's also a house with a lot of other sports. Uh, there's a gym we also use a lot. You can also go to restaurants and uh, you can also go to a concert here if you yeah. want to. So yeah. come, follow us. We come here a couple of times a week to play badminton, but we also come here to uh, use the gym and yeah, stay, stay in a good shape. So uh, we really enjoy coming here and now we'll go change and play a little bit of badminton. Yeah. Follow See us. you. Right now we are playing in the Danish National League um, for a club up here in the north of Jutland called Vensvissel and we really enjoy being uh, a part of the team and we feel like we are coming home to, uh, to the best team in, in this part of the country so 
that's really nice. Um, besides that, we uh, yeah enjoy having time here in, in Aalborg. We own some apartments which we rent out to, to students and uh, it's also a kind of job on, on the other hand. So it's like we're badminton players and then we also have some apartments we have to manage. So it's a great uh, combination right now that uh, that's the way our, our daily uh, life is. So I retired uh, a bit earlier than Christina due to my pregnancy. So it was uh, naturally for me to say that now we are ready to the next chapter. And uh, first, uh, it was uh, Christina was supposed to play a little bit more uh, mixed doubles, and uh, actually she also thought that the Olympics could be a goal. But um, again, after Molly came, uh, it was just not the right feeling to to keep on playing and traveling so much. We just want to enjoy Molly and uh, and see her grow up. One, one thing uh, for me was uh, that was difficult were to um, to tell Matthias, uh, my mixed double partner, that that I, I wanted to stop earlier than than expected. Uh, so uh, it was a difficult um, meeting for me to, to talk to him, talk to my coach Kenneth uh, and the Federation because they have really been behind me um, and, and this new um, New partnership with Matthias. Uh, we we felt that uh, Tokyo to 2020 um, could be a goal for us. Um, but uh, as Camilla said, when Molly came, uh, I could feel that uh, I didn't have the the right motivation. So um, it wouldn't be fair for anyone, for me, for Matthias, for the Federation, for our national coach, uh, to to keep on working uh, together. So that's the reason why we we took the decision to to say this is it. Uh, we are, we are ready for the next chapter. Even though we, we didn't play that long, uh, I felt that we, we had a good partnership uh, and I, I like him, uh, I like uh, his person, so um, he could feel uh, on me that uh, I was not uh, really happy uh, when, uh, when I was in, in my badminton uh, gear. Uh, so, uh, so that's the reason why um, yeah, I, I wanted to stop and, and he, um, he supported me. Time for a quick break here on Badminton Unlimited, but when we come back, we get to know the newest addition to the Pedersen Ritter Yule family. I just hope that she will uh, give as many hugs as she does now and smiles. Um, it's, it's going to be fun to, uh, to show her some of our badminton matches when she actually understands what's going on. Welcome back. We continue our visit in Aalborg as Camilla Ritterjul and Christina Pedersen reflect on the high points of their remarkable eight-year on-court partnership. Actually, we were not good in the beginning. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we, <laughs> we, we had some, some few good results, but uh, <laughs> we were um, mostly mixed doubles players, both of us, but uh, somehow we really enjoyed playing the ladies doubles and, and we believe that when you have fun, you really enjoy being on court, you can also uh, make the best results and it just got better and better. And uh, the last years of our career in the ladies doubles, we were playing some of our best badminton ever. So it was amazing to uh, yeah, start, start out as a little bit fun project uh, 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 when, when mixed doubles was priority number one. We just had the latest doubles just to, to f have fun and, and have something together and then we, we ended up uh, winning silver medal at the Olympics and, and the Old England so it's, it's a crazy journey. If you had asked us uh, in 2010 what do you think your career in ladies doubles could bring you and <laughs> I, I wouldn't have said any of these results, uh, yeah. not even the, the European medal, uh, no. any, any smaller tournaments, gold medals. The fun part to playing ladies double together were, were best part for us. Of course the, the Olympics is so special and um, every badminton player has a dream to win a medal and uh, we had the same feeling when we travelled to Rio in, in 2016 and when you see all the other athletes winning medals oh, you just dream so badly about this medal and uh, oh, I get goosebumps yeah. now I talk about it again. We, um, we can't say the word Olympic medal. Mm -hmm. Uh, without getting mm -hmm. getting goosebumps. No, so it's it's special, and Olympics will always be the one 
uh, the result that I will mention. Actually, we were supposed not to play the, the All England in 2018 because we, we hoped that Camilla would be, be pregnant uh, on that time. Uh, but uh, you had to take this um, test, small test, small yeah. test uh, Tuesday before the tournament. So we went to Birmingham. Didn't know if we had to play or not, so we, we talked to Kenneth and, and when we could see the tests were negative, uh, we, we talked to him and said, OK, we're ready, we play. Camilla has not been pre practicing for a long time because you, you needed to, to slow down to, to get your body going, mm. to, yeah, so, so you could uh, be pregnant. So um, Wednesday, Thursday were, were difficult, we, we uh, fought it, uh, but then the, the game was getting better and better and uh, suddenly we were in the final. And, uh, yeah, it's an amazing feeling to, to be in the final and knowing all the, the things going on uh, beside the, yeah. our badminton career at that time. We knew that All England would be the last tournament where we would feel that we still had a little bit of shape left. Um, and then after the All England, the, yeah, the month the, after. The test after yeah. was positive. So it was just like it was meant to be that we just <laughs> needed to be on top of the podium. Now we have. At that time, we had been number two for so many times, World Championships, Olympics, uh, all England all also, England, and yeah. we badly wanted to be on top of the podium, so it was a crazy story. The European um, medals for us uh, means a lot, um, especially the first one. Uh, I remember we were really nervous in that final. I think it was in the qualify period for Olympic in, in London in 2012, so yeah. It was not only to, to play this final, it was also to qualify the last tournament before um, our federation should uh, pick who, who's going to go uh, in ladies' double. So I just remember we, we got a lot of thoughts uh, in our mind, um, but we won and, and we celebrated and, and we're really happy after that. So to make some records, uh, one uh, four times in a row, um, it's special. We, we're proud of that. It would be nice for us to be remembered as the, the smiling ladies double from, from Denmark who, who really put up the fight against all the Asian couples. Um, it's not easy for a Danish or a European ladies doubles to go to the top. Uh, there's so many Asian uh, combinations out there who, who can win the tournaments. Uh, Chinese, Korea, Malaysians, Indonesians, so many uh, to compete with. So I'm, I'm proud that, uh, that we really did it. We, we like when we turn on the TV in the, the weekend and uh, watch the semifinals and finals, uh, Korea Open, Japan Open, China Open, we love when we can support some of the Danish players, um, our old, old colleagues. So um, yeah, we just hope that um, there will be some, some champions in the future. This is Molly. This is this is her. We yeah. our, our biggest uh, gold medal. Exactly. So yeah. Yeah. You wanna show how big you are, Molly? Molly, what's the weather? Ah. Yeah, we are here at the library because um, it's a place Molly loves to come. Uh, we just picked Molly up uh, from daycare, and uh, sometimes we uh, we go here to the library and. Uh, play, read books. Molly loves oh. to read the books, so uh, it's, it's great that there's a kid's area where you don't have to be quiet. <laughs> Our daily routine is um, when Molly wakes up really early, sometimes six o'clock in the morning, uh, sometimes a little earlier. Then um, we, uh, we play a little bit at home before we take her to daycare. And, uh, some people are asking us, why are we taking Molly to daycare when you're not working? But for us, we still work. We play badminton a lot. Uh, that's our job still. So, um, so we have to take her to daycare. And now Molly's going uh, <laughs> on a little adventure. Um, but that's our routine. And then we pick her up after she has uh, been sleeping there for, for two times. And then we pick her up. And then we just have time to, uh, to enjoy the day play with her and get the dinner ready before she's tired again and, and go to the night. And so it's a different routine, but, uh, but we like it. We felt that we wanted both to, to be called mom and then oh. Kay and she were, were for us the, the best choice. 
maybe Molly does not agree when she can talk, then we, we take it from there. But from now, for now, we, we call it Mama K and, and Mom C. And now we're, we're in the center of Olbo, um just outside the library. And this is, this is where we, we sometimes go for a walk and just enjoy the city, having some fresh air and yeah, just having a good time. Uh, sometimes like this, sometimes in, uh, I'm not sure what it's called in English, but uh, when we can, <laughs> can take Molly in a, what is it called? Help me. It's, uh, no, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Everybody knows what I mean when I do like this and Molly is sitting in front of us, yeah. Molly loves the, uh, a piece of bread sometimes, so, uh, so we just take a, a short break here before we, we go home by bike. She, she can't answer, but uh, <laughs> it seems like she's having a good time, so um, so, so are we. I think we have enough bread. <laughs> what about you, Molly? <laughs> you agree? Is it lekker? Sometimes it, it's been hard uh, to be an athlete, uh, to train every day and to 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 try and, and reach the, the goals you set. Um, but when you succeed, uh, then uh, it's, fantastic, it's a fantastic feeling. Um, but again, no matter what she wants to do, we, we just want to, to be there for her. I just hope that she will uh, give as many hugs as she does now and smiles. Um, it's, it's going to be fun to, uh, to show her some of our badminton matches when she actually understands what's going on and, uh, and show that if you work really hard, you, you can succeed also when, when the odds are against you. It's not like I can say that anything is possible, but almost. Okay, guys, thank you so much for, for joining us. Uh, hope you, you're having a good time following us here in, in Alba. So, uh, yeah, together with, with Molly. We uh, hope to see you uh, around. We don't mm -hmm. know where. Maybe a badminton tournament, National League, badminton league, anywhere in the world. So, see you out there. Yeah, bye bye. Molly, thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>
with Hafiz Faisal, Gloria Emmanuel with Jaja, leapfrogging Tan Chun Man, Se Ying Sweat into eight. Also under threat is Seo Seung Jae and Che Yu Jung's bid for Tokyo, with Seo facing potential suspension by the Korean Badminton Association till the end of the year over contractual conflicts. That's it for now here on Badminton Unlimited, but join us again next week as we'll recap the results from the Continental Team Championships in Asia and Europe. Plus, Danish duo Hans Christian Solberg, Vettingus and Kim Astrup do their bit for the environment by raising awareness of waste reduction. Even in those places, it's still an issue, so it's still something that we need to uh, discuss on a global basis and, uh, and try to, uh, to work on. In the meantime, remember to log on to the BWF fan site, bwfbadminton.com, for the latest news and features on the sport. Bye for now. <laughs>